There's just five months to go before the year-end local elections. On Wednesday, the DPP finalized its candidates for three key mayoral races. DPP legislator Cai Shiying will run for mayor of Jilong, and Xinzhu City Mayor Lin Zhijian will run for mayor of Taoyuan. Lin's current deputy, Shen Hui Hong, will, run, will stay in Xinzhu and run for city's mayor. The DPP Central Executive Committee has approved the nominations of three mayoral candidates, lawmaker Cai Shiying for Jilong, Xinzhu City Mayor Lin Zhijian for Taoyuan, and Lin's deputy Shen Hui Hong for Xinzhu City. Lin, who's contracted COVID, attended the committee's Wednesday meeting via teleconference. President Tsai Ing-wen presided in her capacity as party chairwoman. We have legislator Tsai Shi Ying, as well as Lin Hui Hong, Deputy Mayor Shen Hui Hong. She's been a superb deputy for Lin Zhijian. The two of them are five staff, five staff, no, five star local officials. The president caught her own slips of the tongue before pressing ahead to her vision for the election. Xinzhu has been making progress. We will not backtrack on that progress. We can't afford to backtrack. We've built a good name in local governance, restoring pride to local residents, and we must continue that work. Now is the time for us to draw up a road map for the next eight years. Tsai urged the candidates to advance the DPP's reputation in local governance. I want to give a special thanks to lawmakers and former lawmakers, including Zhang Yunpeng, Chen Boqing, David Huang, and Peng Shaojin. I will prepare to go to Taoyuan as soon as I can to consult with you. Only by standing united can we win this election. The year-end election in Taoyuan is not a battle between blue and green. Rather, it's a fight to keep Taoyuan on the path of progress. Our administrative team has created a Xinju experience that must not be interrupted. I am the candidate most familiar with and most suited to the job, the most professional candidate for the mayoral post. Keelung can't go back to what it was. The newly transformed Keelung must not bring back the politicians of the past. The KMT once installed a barely passable mayor in Keelung, and now it's nominated a candidate who was rejected and put on notice as a lawmaker eight years ago. This shows that the KMT is still living in the past. It's unable to meet the expectations of Keelung's people. The candidates said they were ready to fight hard to hold on to their constituencies for the DPP.